วัสดีทำอะไรอยู่สบายดีA health checkup when I was 14, they did a blood test on me, and I discovered that I was a carrier of thalassemia, and this is a type of hemoglobin disease. And it turns out that a few years later, my brother also did this test, and he's also a carrier of this disease, and it runs in my family. And these are diseases that are really widespread along the equator, and there's not a good cure yet available. And so I've always been interested in looking for ways to cure this kind of disease. So I've always been interested in biology, and during my PhD studies, I came across CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technologies, and this was really interesting to me because of the promise of curing blood diseases. What is in here is the cells and the Cas9 in the guide, and I'm going to put this in a nuclear effector, which will apply a bit of electricity to the cells, and this will insert holes into the cell and allow to enter the cell and edit the genome. The current therapies on the market are currently only treating symptoms and this means that they have to be taken lifelong and a lot of patients have to be hospitalized frequently and also have to um, rely on blood transfusions. So what I'm researching is to take the patient's own blood cells and this is um, what we would edit would be stem cells and these stem cells would give rise to red blood cells. And these are not germ cells, so this is not mutations that will carry on into generations. These are just mutations that would be for the patient's own lifetime. So right now we are currently in research and development phase, and the next steps that we would need to do is to go into clinical trials. And for this we would need more investment, as well as um, perhaps partnerships with larger pharmaceutical companies. It's very important that our research is accessible to everyone, investors, patients, family members, and in order for everyone to be able to read this, it has to be published in an open access format. And I also heard that ETH Library pays partial of this open access fees, which is very, very important. We are always happy to help researchers um, find out about the best funding opportunities for their open access publishing activities so they can focus on their research and on preparing their manuscripts and we help them make their paper open access. For example, if I wanted to publish in Nature Communications, mm -hmm. how would I find if ETH Library covers this as an open access fee? It's an interesting case. Okay. Barbara was super helpful. I, I was very happy to hear that ATI Library can pay for some of the open access fees for publishing research. This is very beneficial for the startup and I hope that when people read about this research that they'll have hope that a new therapy could be well on its way. Mm -hmm.